Hello everyone. So this is a Toshiba 65 inch Smart 4K Ultra HD Fire TV. Now, if you're looking for a smart TV that uh, has a lot of great features packed into it, uh, it's a reliable brand. Toshiba is a Japanese brand. The, they make a lot of laptops and other electronics that are reliable, long lasting. This is the brand to go for. Now it's affordable as well, so you can buy a 65 inch for around, I would say, uh, 400, 450 uh, for a 65 inch. So that's really worth it. And it, it does have a lot of great features. But bear in mind at the same time, you know, it can't compete with uh, like Samsung or LG or Sony that make 65 inch that are worth near £1,000 or more because they do have a better build, build quality, better, uh, better features built into it. So we can't really compare, um, compare much. However, this TV has a lot of great features. So I'm gonna show you uh, what kind of features it has and what's built into this TV and why it's worth purchasing one. I purchased this because it's within a good price range and it does have a lot of great features. Now it does have a built-in Fire TV, so that's the one great thing about this. And that's something I like about this TV. So it does have a built-in true micro dimming improves contrast. So you got that built-in. It also has 4K, it's 4K and it also has Adobe Vision HDR. And what that does is it delivers highlights that are 40 times brighter and blacks that are 10 times darker. It also has, it also has a Adobe Atmos sound by Onkyo and Internal Sub. It also has uh, all-in-one entertainment with Fire TV. So it literally has, instead of buying a Fire TV stick, or that um, ex external device for that, it has that built in, so you don't have to worry about buying a Fire Stick. And the energy rating for this is uh, energy uh, rating is E. It has HDMI 2.1 as well built in, three HDMI ports at the back. I will show you those afterwards. And it has Bluetooth, AirPlay. It also has the LED technology. That's the that's the actual TV screen and it has a 60 refresh rate. So that's all the features that I could um, tell you regarding this TV. Now, this is the remote that it comes with. So, you know, it's very similar to the Fire, Fire um, Stick TV because that's how they are normally. You can see, um, you got the switch on and off button, you got the um, mic button here where you can say Alexa, uh, can you play a certain song, etc. You can see it's already coming up there. Um, but I'm not going to press that right now. Um, I was going take, to take, go, probably go to a YouTube or something and put play music. Um, so you've got the navigation buttons here. you got the back button, home button uh, options here. you got rewind, play pause, fast forward, volume control here, the guide button, navigation buttons here, a mute. Then you've got the, buttons, um, the numbers here. He also has a subtitle button, live button, Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, Free View Play, and these three um, colored buttons at the bottom here, red, green, yellow, and blue. Now, before you use this, it does come with two batteries anyway, so you don't have to worry about that, but it, come, it requires two AAA batteries to operate this. I like this because it's slim and easy to use. Okay, so let me... Get, let me pause this and I will take you straight to the back to show you the back, how, how that looks and I will play something just to so, just so you know how the quality of the um, TV is. One thing that really stands out regarding the stand and that looks very attractive as well and just looks really nice. Now I like the stand because it got that nice design to it. Obviously you can put stuff here if you want. You got the Toshiba logo there and this is the button that shows when it's on or off. So obviously when you put it on standby, it goes red and when it's switched on, it goes green. But it, 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 it's very stable, it holds the TV, but there's a slight downside with it. Now if you touch the TV, it does slightly wobble because it doesn't have uh, the left and the right a stand that some 65 inch TVs would have so it, it feel, it's more stable that way This one's in the middle. So you got all the all the balance in the middle So on the left and the right it doesn't have that kind of balance or that stability 
so he does move slightly so I'll, I'll just show you a demo but it's not a big deal anyways because who's gonna go and touch it unless there's a if you got toddlers and stuff that goes and touch it then it might be a downside buying one of these okay so if I move it it does wobble slightly but that's if you're gonna be touching it if you don't touch it it's fine I mean it's not a big deal unless you got uh, kids in your house that or like toddlers that would go and touch it that might be a problem or you can put the TV onto the wall that's another option but otherwise it's, it's, a, it's a really good TV so at the back here you can see you got the antenna port there then you got HDMI port here HDMI port here then you got two standard USB A port here and then you got another HDMI port here Ethernet port for the TV um, to use the Fire TV and that's about it so you, these are the only ports that it has so you've got three HDMI port, one Ethernet port for the TV two standard USB ports and the mains plug is on that side so I'll show you that in a second this is where the mains plug goes in it's removable as well so you can take the mains plug out if, in case if the cable gets damaged and you can replace it with another cable The mask office's fine woolly undercoat insulates them during the freezing cold winter. They defend themselves with their great horns and bony plates. I hope you liked the video. The surround sound system is really good. That Dolby sound system is, has that amazing surround sound system and is very clear and you can see the pictures the quality is really good as well for the price range so thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe